Hi, hello, it's me. I'm sorry I haven't been posting. This is just a little speed paint that I recorded a while back that I just never posted because I want to do like really nice videos, but seeing that I can't have the, uh, the time and energy to work on really entertaining content, I have a speed paint for you guys. It's lazy, but you know, some of you asked for speed paint, so here you go. So, I just want to tell a little, a little story. So, it's a short one, nothing too insane. So, this is a story about a weird, disturbing scene I saw. So, I was minding my own business day to day, just trying to get home, as one does after work. And I'm tired because I'm stupid and I went to sleep at 3 a.m. the previous night and then I got up at 6 to go jogging because I I'm trying to be healthy and trying to get fit, you know? Girl, <laughs> it's summer. I'm... Mm. And, you know, I had a stressful day. Things were not great. I was just very, very done for the day. And so I'm, I'm there, I'm waiting for my bus and my bus comes and, you know, it's the right bus. Alright, it's the right bus. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a mistake of getting on the wrong bus again. And then at some point, some guy gets on. He's wearing gray sweats and a dark hoodie. He carries a large orange plastic tote bag and he sits like two seats in front of me. And meanwhile, I'm I'm pretty distracted. I'm not paying that much attention. I'm just trying to find something wa to watch on YouTube and realizing I used like 15 gigs of data this month or that month, the month that this happened. And yeah, you know, normal things. And then I noticed that this guy pulls out something from his bag. And it's a doll. It's a plush Anna doll from um, Disney's hit animated film, Frozen. It's about 12 inches tall. And it's just her in her regular dress she wears in the film with a hooded cloak, yada yada, you know, Disney merch. And at first I was like, okay dude bought a doll for someone maybe a child or maybe he likes dolls whatever no judgment whatever floats your boat i guess and well <laughs> whatever boat he's on needs to sink because again okay this guy is just a bit in front of me so i can see exactly what he's doing simply because he's just in my line of sight it's not my choice all right i have to literally look away to not see whatever he's doing and he's he holds up the doll seemingly to admire her or something you know it's a cute doll sure and then he he reaches into his orange tote bag again okay i'm like hmm okay he reaches in the bag and he pulls out a rose a single rose except it's not just it's not just a rose it's it's the head of the rose just the head no stem and he pulls up the hoodie on anna 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 so she's all nice and snugly warm, you know, ooh woo. And then he inserts the rose into the crevice between her head and the hood so that it stays in place right there, like on her head. And I'm like, uh, okay, dude, okay. Weird. But it gets weirder because he, he reaches back into the tote and he pulls out more rose heads and he continues to slowly and carefully stick roses around the hood so that it frames her face. And, like, I don't know how many he has, because he just keeps spraying them out. There's, there were, like, ten. He did this, like, ten times. I'm like, okay, <laughs> what's in your bag? Where'd you get all those roses? Why are they just the heads? It doesn't even look like they were just, like, a bouquet and he ripped the heads off, like, while reaching in or anything. Like, he just very easily brought out, like, a head. So I was like, huh. But then... If this wasn't weird enough, I noticed that while he does this, he pauses, and he looks at her. And then, he gives her kisses on the mouth, like every minute or two. And I'm like, uh, what? what? <laughs> it's varied too. Sometimes it's like a short little smooch. And other times he just, he, he just holds her to his lips for like 10 seconds. 
and a few times he, he holds her up close to him, like to his face, and he puts her little arms around his own face. And I'm just sitting there like trying really hard not to look because what the fudge? But also he's like right in front of me, so <laughs> how can I not see this, right? And you know, at some point, I don't know if he's just bored or he realizes maybe he's freaking me out or something but he gets up and he moves a few rows further in front a little bit away from me but still my line of sight <laughs> and he continues to do the same stuff as he was doing except now he's sitting like sideways because um the seats that are closer to the front they're reserved for like people with uh, physical disabilities or they're pregnant or whatever anyways those are faced sideways so um, now I have a really good view of what he's doing. You know, also, as he does this, he also pulls up the hood on his head. And I don't know if he's just trying to hide himself or he's trying to be cute and, like, match his doll with the hood up. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. And I'm just internally screaming, like, why? Why? And there's not many people around on this bus, but there is this like other guy on the other side of the aisle for me And he was a bit in front of me, so he didn't really have a good view of this guy previously But now he does have a clear view of the guy Like how I was subjected to earlier and he just kind of Looks around nervously like what WTF And I make eye contact with this other poor unfortunate bystander but he looks, while he looks bewildered, I just look at him with dead eyes because I'm just so dead inside. I want off of Mr. Bones Wild Ride. I did not sign up for this. I had a long day. I did not want to see this. And I see that this guy also pulls up his phone camera. Um, but then he puts it away again. So I don't know if he was trying to like send snaps, chats, or like send snapchats to other people or like just take a picture so you could tell other people about it but same dude <laughs> i sent a snapchat to people i was like bruh what what is this guy doing anyways as we're chugging along i get to almost my stop and then i have a sudden thought like is he going to my stop too because he has not gotten off yet and I, it's, it's getting to my stop, and my stop is like near the end of the bus line, so I was like, mm, I hope not. Well, we get to my stop, and everyone is getting off, except he's just still sitting there with his goddamn doll, pretty much making out with it. And I'm just like, yeet, and I run the heck to my car, because I'm not sticking around for any more of that. And like, last I saw, as I was getting off, the bus driver was getting up, like, dude, you need to, you need to leave or something. But anyways, yeah, there's, there's not much to that story. It's kind of anticlimactic. It's still very weird, but not as weird as it could get, which I'm, I mean, I'm thankful <laughs> that it didn't get any weirder, but just, man, people you see in public sometimes. It makes me feel better, at least, that um, no matter how weird I am or embarrassing and do weird stuff in public, I'm never going to be as embarrassing as these people. So yeah, thanks for listening. I'm sorry if I disturbed you. Thanks for watching my speed paint video. I'll see you next time. Next time? I have too many videos in progress. Bye-bye!